Hello everyone, hello! Cesare here with more Mass Effect. Yesterday we finished off in Novaria, and now we're here in our ship, getting ready to go to our next site, which you guys picked yesterday. It's gonna be the uh, dig site, where we meet uh, Dr. Liari Tassoni, presumably. Lightning. What about lightning? We had lightning here yesterday, guys. We had a lot of storms, actually. Like, it was right after the stream was done. I took a short walk and it was clear. I got home, was watching the uh, people over at the baseball diamond get all set up. And as they were getting set up, the uh, the storm just started out of nowhere. And it was huge torrents of rain. So you just see people just, like, quickly start packing their shit up as they're getting soaked. And, like, it was crazy. Oh, Leah's voice actor is lightning. Yeah, but you reminded me of the uh, storm yesterday, and I had to tell you guys about it. Where's, uh... My, um... I still have this map, this quest for Find Lori Quinn. Keen. But, uh, we had no reason to do that, because we found another way in there. So, I was saying, you were telling me your favorite thing to do in this, when you were playing the Rebel side, was, uh, to call up the, uh, council and then just hang up on them. So weird. Alright, let's go explore some planets real quick, and then we'll go to our dig site. Right now we're in Novaria. Or Novaria. We're done here, though. This is in the, uh, Horsehead Nebula with Pet the Pack Star. There's also Pinnacle Station in that. I'm not aware what these are yet, so we'll explore these later. Let's explore the Ming Galaxy, or the, the, the Ming Solar System. Let me cancel the fuck off is the best part of space exploration. I believe it. How do you guys feel about the relays? Alright, let's check this here first. Antiropus. Antiropus is a hydrogen helium and helium gas giant that formed in the outer regions of the Ming systems. And is in the process of migrating inwards. In a few million years, the planet's atmosphere will begin to boil away into space. There's a sizable temperature difference between the, the side of uh, Antiropus facing the energetic blue giant, primarily on the side facing the cold of, uh, primary and the side facing the cold deep of space. This variance powers massive cyclonic wind systems. The intense heat also it absorbs from the sun, in addition to its own internal heat engine, causes the planet's dark side to radiate faintly in the infrared. Over a period 284.2 Earth years. And daylight 10 hours. It is spinning almost twice, or a little over twice as fast as Earth. And, uh, but it's moving around the sun at a speed that's, like, really, really long. Alright, what is this? MSV Worthington. The Worthington is a Kowloon-class modular conveyor of human design, configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling. The ship appears to be shut down state. The main thrusters are cold, and it is a drift off the orbit of Antipropus. Registry the Morrison Company, Shanxi. Alright. Let's board and see what's going on. Roll the dice. Who are we getting? We got 20, so that means we're bringing Tally. And 14, so 12 for Garrus, 13 for... Okay, we're bringing Kaiden. Works for me. Alright, we gotta play some points for Tally, I think. Yeah, she got 22 of them. So what were we training her in? Electronics and decryption, you said? No, electronic and pistol.
Then you guys want me to get damping. Okay, so now that she's maxed in, uh, pistols, do you guys want to get basic armor or decryption? What do you think? What are we thinking? Armor? Okay. You could definitely use it, I think. Your people die too much. Agreed. Ugh. I am with you on that. I need to get basic armor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, when I level up, we're getting Spectre Training and Charm. Ryan, right. right, why are you still poisoned, dude? You go, we're, okay, we're going that, so we'll get, we get more sad game overs. Okay. Well, that's fine. Description. Hey, Astral! AI. Looks like this vessel was abandoned. Someone must have shut down all systems, except basic life support. Oh, okay, we got some medium armor that might be better than what I got. It's number three. It is not. Great. Ready in three. It's got a lot more shields, but I, I want stuff that gives me damage protection. Because. Are you wearing light armor? Oh, that's liberated three. Yeah, I gotta go to equip medium armor. That'll, that'll do. It'll be better for him though. <laughs> hey, what, dude? Slightly upgrade. Slight upgrade. Okay, but you might be able. Right now, you're using a striker two. We can give her an edge four or a stinger four. Stinger four would be should be better in all assets. So we're gonna give you that. And let's give her... Uh... There we go. What about your armor? What do you got in that? Uh, let's give you... Armor plating. There. It's a little stronger now. Actually, let's keep the Turian armor. I don't think I'm ever going to be getting heavy armor, but I'll hang on to it for now. And I'll get rid of the medium. Okay. One day my character will get medium armor. Just so you guys know. What's the plan? Like 10 minutes behind? No! Okay, we got an assault rifle, and a sniper rifle, and a shotgun. Let's take these and see. <sighs> Alright, is this assault rifle better than what I got? It's got less damage, so I'm not really interested. But the Tornado 4, ooh. This is a huge increase in every way. Look at that. And the Banshee 4 is better for him, so there we go. Look at these finds. Astral Eden's at the part where they were attacking Astral Eden Prime. We did that 10 minutes ago? Damn, we're fast. I clear up some inventory space. We're getting rid of these uh, lower guns. Take my scimitar four. I'm gonna give that to my Krogan. Alright. And we got a whole bunch of these negatives, huh? So. Could just sell them, but the Omnigel is gonna have some value at some point in the game, so. We didn't equip her with a sniper rifle. Let's give her. I sure have that. 
better for, better for Garrus, but... Training Garrus and snipers? Minutes are a social construct. Time gives no credence to it. Uh, no, you're right. My brother used to go on, uh, make posts on Facebook all the time about how time is a social construct and, uh, we base our lives around it. And when I asked him, so? What are you trying to get at? Like, what what value does this Did have on anyone? Sounded like footsteps. Didn't give me an answer. Sometimes social constructs aren't necessarily a bad thing. Somebody set that trap. This whole place could be wired. That's good that they set that trap. I have no idea who set that trap up, oh, man. Is it a Charlie argument point? That's fair. Damage. There are a lot of social contracts that you are used to get a lot of great uh, hate and bigotry. Sure, okay, that's fair. That's a fair assessment. But in the case of time, time is mostly useful. Uh, a way to measure time is mostly useful, and whether you're measuring it or not, time goes on. Usually, I mean, people will find a way to make anything seem bad or worse than it is, or. Turn something into a horrible. Tungsten rounds. All targets down. Okay, so if we go back to our shotgun. What do tungsten rounds do? Damage versus synthetics. Okay, so these will be really good to equip when we fight Geth and other synthetics, so... Not that the chemical rounds particularly did, were bad. They actually were pretty solid. Might want to go in there, but... Right now, right, uh, we're on a derelict ship, so imagine if you were in Star Trek and you came across a, uh... Sorry. You came across, like, a, a, a destroyed Ferengi vessel, and you're like, oh shit, what's this? That'd be kind of like what we're doing here, except this is a, another human vessel. There could be any more treasure chests or anything, so... I think he's reading something through a wall. You just did make random episodes of Star Trek where nothing bad happens? But to find a derelict rescue uh, 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 vessel and rescue people? They all heal. You know, that'd be kind of fun. Right here. Hey, dude. He looks kind of like Boomhauer. Kind of damn do 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 the space to boom hammer the god dang space. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. Is what he would want. Is it? I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. It was not interdimensional beings or chronostasis, or they were smuggling plutonium. They just had a warp failure and were wandering. You know, I, that's wholesome and fair. Oh shit, alright. 
Okay, Hurricane 4. Firestorm 4. Firestorm? That's new. Okay, okay. Alright, it's less damage, but better accuracy and that. So that might, Krogan, our Krogan might like that. Another Banshee 4. I haven't found any biotic amps. Probably need to buy those. Looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I'm not seeing any brain activity on the readouts. He's dead. This body is just an empty shell. Do we turn off the machine or just say we can't help him and leave him here? Hey, Arena! Because you said that the Enterprise felt bad about abandoning and they were worried they'd spend, they'd spend three years going home instead of like finishing their mission and going back to them. Weeks later, they grieved leaving the ship to float for three years. Yeah, they could have just gone back. Why didn't they? Arena, hello! Should we turn off this guy's machine? He's brain dead. He's just being kept alive by the machine. Um, these two seem like the same one. Or should we turn off the machine? What do you guys think? Turn this guy off? Alright. No point leaving him there like a vegetable. It's your decision, Shepard. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. That's fair. We'll come back to that. I haven't played this game in a long time. Ah, well, welcome back, CJ. Hello. This was voted on by the community, so that's what we're playing. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, and it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Hmm. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. So, her choice method is uh, to leave audio logs. Okay, hang on a sec. How you doing, CJ? What you been up to? Alright, we got a pistol, a Ryko 4, and a Katana 4. Shotgun. Okay, well, check this out. What is the Katana 4? Is that better than what we got? Again, less damage, better accuracy, and better, uh, more, sh slightly more shots before overheating. Ryko for the Ryko 4. Right, why am I not equipping a better gun on this guy, by the way? Yeah, I got a better pistol. Work's a living the dream. Is 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 work the dream? Is is that? Is that I don't understand. I've been pretty good. Um, I finished off paying off my student loans last Thursday, so those are gone. Pretty excited about that. Uh, and now I am working on saving off some more nightmare, <laughs> more of a nightmare. And Jacob now I'm just working on other no things. signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Doctor Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Ah! Alright. Oh, hey there, Julia. She didn't destroy us. Perimeter secured. That was... Probably the most pathetic assault I've ever seen. That's hilarious. Anyway, so yeah, um, today at around 3 to 4, my brother's gonna be dropping off some groceries, so I'm gonna have to, uh, go and pick those up. Uh, 
Well, I say pick those up, but let them in and carry them upstairs and put them, uh, the, the pertinent stuff away anyway. And then uh, I'll continue stream. On Friday, there won't be a stream because I'm going to go visit my dad. You did the right thing, Commander. You did. Alright, so look at these little mini quests here. That lady, holy shit, that was funny. Just like runs up and immediately just fucking flails on the ground and then dies. Don't forget to mask up. I won't. I got my mask. The reusable one, so I toss it in the uh, washer when I do laundry. Pretty handy guy. That was cool! Yeah, this game even has little side quests like that. Finding little ships. Now let's go back out here and we'll look at these planets. Parag. Parag is a large rock planet with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Despite lying over 600 AU from Ming, it, it astronomical units, its the surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of alumina, alumina with deposits of silver. Due to the radiation and heat, landing on Parag's sunward side would be, with anything less than warship-grade shielding, will likely be fatal. Parag rotates at a retrograde to the rest of the Ming system, indicating it is likely a captured body. The orbital period is 1,930 years, Earth years, and its day length is 22.4 hours. So it spins about as fast as Earth does, but it uh, has twice the gravity, 2.0 g, and uh, a very, very long Earth uh, orbital period. Need to buy a good one? You only have an old t-shirt? I mean, I got mine for like seven bucks. Light metal surveyed. Scans from the planet Prague have revealed a large deposit of titanium. Cool. And... Altenark. Altenark. Altenark is a small but typically hydrogen, a typical hydrogen helium gas giant with no outstanding features. Its combination of strong magnetic field and relatively shallow gravity will make it a popular stopover world for discharging FTL cores. Orbital period 4,005 Earth years. Man, in the entire time the Earth has been alive that we are aware of, this thing would have orbited around Ming once. I say uh, alive, but that we've been. Um, in the entire time that we've been catalog cataloging uh, time and through our calendars, it would have gone by once. 16.3 Earth hours, so it's slightly faster. Medallion recovered. Scanning Altenarok Alten revealed something of interest in the, the debris field. Joker brought the Normandy in close, and a small team was able to retrieve some valuable detritus, including a League of One medallion. I don't know what the League of One is. Any of you guys know? Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's it for this. Yeah. That was cool, you got a space uh, derelict ship to explore? Let's go to the Han system, see what they got here. The Han solar system. Depends what you believe, religion or evolution? What do you mean? I forget what I said. You can believe in both. Heaven is a small, unremarkable rock world. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of. Oh, I, oh, and uh, whether the Earth was created yesterday and we were all given memories versus uh, the Earth evolved oh, oh, and life evolved over time. Yeah. Heaven is a small, unremarkable rock world. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of calcium with deposits of aluminum. Heaven's low mass uh, has left it tidally locked to the star uh, Han. If there were any resources of value, mining stations would be established on the relatively temperate twilight band. Orbital period, 0.5 years. And day length, 0.5 years. <laughs> Doesn't have a day length. Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of Paravan revealed an unmanned station in geosynchronous orbit. Your salvage team found no evidence of the origins of the station, but they did find one of the Matriarch Dillonaga's Dil writings on board. Like Big Bang or God. Why couldn't both? Why can't both have been a thing? Hunting Toe. Hunting Toe. Hunting Toe is a Jovian sized gas giant with a standard hydrogen helium and atmosphere. Traces of methane give the planet its distinct cobalt blue tint. 
Spectral analysis indicates the extensive ring system is mostly composed of ice crystals. Adding to it, it has an exceptionally powerful magnetic field, which creates strong radio interference throughout the inner system. During an eight, uh, 31.8 Earth years per orbital period, and it's got a 16.7 day. Hour day. Mavig. Mavigan. Okay, level 1 cold hazard. Mavigan is a small rock and ice planet with a thin atmosphere of ammonia and methane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of tin and deposits of potassium. The planet is a rudimentary ammonia-based life, mainly concentrated around geothermal vents and deep underground. Severe storm cycles are common due to limited visibility. Navigation may be difficult. Orbital period 42.3 Earth years. Day length 52 hours. Surface temperature 124 degrees Celsius. Alright, so we can actually... This is a, a Mako mission. Oh, what, what is this? Alright, 14. Alenko. Why do they keep giving me 14? Wait, no, that wouldn't be Alenko this time. Uh, 15, 10, 14 would be Garrus. 16 would be Tally. Well, you're working, you're updating Star Wars Dome Republic? Good! Star Wars Dome Republic's fun. We've been playing that on Sundays when we can. Alright, Garrus, you got some points to put in. So we were working on assault rifles with you and tactical armor. Oh wait, no, not assault rifles. Sniper rifles and tactical armor. And Turian Agent, actually. I want to do that one just because I want his EXP. Can I use medium armor? Boost? Advanced assassination increases assassination's damage bonus. Tell me about how much, though. Alright guys, now that we've finished tactical armor, where are we putting the rest of our points? Are we going to put them into assault training, decryption, or first aid? What do you think of saying, Astral? CJ? Where should we put his uh, next points now that we've finished upgrading tactical armor and Turian agent? Should we put it into assault training, decryption, first aid? You think assault training? Assault decryption? Well, assault decryption isn't a thing. I'd be interested in knowing what assault decryption is. What assault training? This increases weapon damage by 1% and melee damage by 30%. Alright. And now he needs one more point into sniper rifles. Perfect. Alright, Garrus. We gotta equip you with some new stuff. So your assault rifle, we're gonna give you this Banshee. It's better than what you got, so... Cool. Uh, we're gonna give you... This Firestorm 4 shotgun. I don't know if you ever use shotguns, but may as well. Edge 4 pistol. Sniper rifles. This is where it's at. And unfortunately we did have a better one, but... Unfortunately, we give it away. Ah, good. You can use medium armor. So we're going to give you the uh, medium armor here that we have. Cool. What do you use in here? Currently have toxic seals. Uh, let's give you... There. Alright. So. This is where we are. We are on this planet. There's two things we can pick up. A quest and debris. Let's head over to the debris first, I think. Oh, let's save our game, actually.
Yeah, that's not the way we want to go. Yeah, that's the way we want to go. Started looking at the map a bunch, trying to figure exactly where I want to go. Oh, before we go on, I'm going to reset this video. So we'll join you in the Mako in the next video.